Hi everyone, thanks for joining in. So this is a video that's dedicated to my um, Monash students uh, from Monash Arts Design and Architecture doing their X-Design. So this is a tutorial around A-Frame and using A-Frame to make a 3D scene where we'll have some animation and we'll have some mouse click events. <laughs> Using the entity component system of A-Frame. So A-Frame's quite a nice 3D, a web GL 3D framework that has its own entity component system but it builds on top of 3JS for rendering and actually doing the web GL. So just to give an overview of what this is about, this is a top-down view and an elevation view or front view. In the top-down view we can see we have one, two, three, four spheres the spheres will be eventually made to bounce. We'll have these uh, sort of boxes that are designed to be more like obstacles or just furniture in the scene. And eventually we'll add, there's a nice environment add-on component for entity, so for um, A-frame, which lets you have you know nice horizon background and, and a sort of configures a nice floor for you and things like that. And there's presets and you can do all sorts of interesting things with it. We're going to use mix-ins, and the mix-ins are cool because it lets it's a bit like styles, but in this 3D A-frame environment. Um, and it makes you know if you do the mix-ins right, it makes your entities in your scene more readable. So we'll use mix-ins. We're going to have a look at the multiple techniques for listening to events. So different ways we can register for events and handle them. Um, so one way is using traditional you know web type programming where we have a handler. Uh, we'll have um, uh, basically we'll have a function that goes through and finds all the all of the um, uh, all the entities or the elements in the scene that need to have this handler added to it, and we'll um, you know it could use an ID for instance, um, or we'll use a class because we'll have a group of them. So a class is actually the better way of doing it in this case because we have four spheres. Um, but then we would use the add event listener to add the click event handler basically or listener um, and then finally we need to make sure that this function gets called when the scene is loaded into the browser so that's the main idea of how this pure web way works and another way is using an on-click component and um, the on-click component just requires us to create a JavaScript function that on-click uh, we can specify in so this is where A-Frame uses its nice entity component approach uh, and we can leverage that with a custom component that um, you'll find on this website okay and this is what the mix-ins look like so we can have uh, red color green color um, in fact rather this is you could for instance have a like here this is going to change the material color based on um, how you configure the mix-ins so you know this is where mix-ins are, are pretty cool because we can pre-configure how the on-click event will work and then we can attach this mix into any entity in the whole scene. Okay, so let's, um, let's have a go at this. Okay, so as we can see here, this is the, this is the design we're going to use um, to set up our mix-ins, uh, mix so let's get on with that now. I'm going to make a brand new file. I'm going to call this anim shoot um, call it web for the web style of using H, uh, sorry regular add event listeners. Okay, so first of all, let's make it an HTML document. Uh, we'll need a head section, and we'll need a body. And then we'll need an A scene. And here we'll need a whoops, script source. Now let's go find that source. So okay, we'll just bring this up here and we'll search for A frame. Uh, let's do this. Let's go to the docs. And here we are. This is the hosted uh, minified JavaScript that we want. 
So we just grab this URL, go back to here, and that's the source we want. Uh, down here, let's just make a little room. Uh, now, the other thing, just to help, just add a doc type, and we'll add a meta tag for UTF-8. Um, now, the those two things just reduce some uh, noise in the JavaScript console. Um, browsers prefer that we declare what kind of um, character encoding we're using and this helps complete the declaration that this is an HTML document. Okay, now we're, we're ready to go, so I'll do a quick save. Let's now declare for our assets, the assets are part, sorry, the mixins. Mixins are part of assets, so we have to declare assets first. A assets, now we can have a mixin. Okay, so with our mixin, we, we need an ID, and then the, which is like the label or the name of the mixin. Being an ID, just like an HTML, that has to be unique. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to set up <clears throat> according to our design. So these are like far left, so it's the far left circle, the far right. We have a near left and a near right and a mid. Uh, sorry, the far right is a box and this uh, near left is a box. So those two, we'll, we'll call them boxes. So we're going to lay out four sphere positions and two box positions and then we'll have a camera. Okay, so, so let's put a comment here. This is going to be the uh, sphere positions. So this will be, say, far left. Left pause position equals this time with an n okay so for instance that's minus five one minus five well, let's just make a copy make four of those so the top one is minus five one minus five then for the mid position minus one one zero so mid mid pause minus one one no hold on yes and zero uh, the next one would be near left pause and <clears throat> the near left pause is minus five three three Minus five, three, three, and it's so th these of course are x, y, and z. So the near left one is sitting on top of a box, so that's why it's uh, three. So it's, it's up a bit. Okay, and then this is the near right. Near right is two point five, one point five, two point five. So this is near right pause. And it's 2.5, 1.5, 2.5. Check my memory. Yes. Okay, so those are our spheres. <coughs> Next one are the, the boxes. Uh, box positions. Yeah. Stop. Make that a comment. Okay, so A mix in. Again, ID equals, we'll call them. Uh, We'll, we'll make a suffix box pause, box pause, like this, and position. I'm making a template equals that. We'll have two of those. So now there's the uh, far right box pause. So far right box pause, and then there's the near left box pause. Okay, so the far right box pause. Uh, ah, come on. Far right box pause is three one minus four. Three one minus four. And the near left box pause is um, minus five one three. Okay. So now we have the positions for the objects in our scene, we could make a camera position if we really want. Like this will be the initial camera position. Initial cam pause. 
Okay, so a mix in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we are. Use Emmet to fix to finish that up. So equals uh, campos. Position equals, and we'll put the camera. Look, it just needs to be somewhere a little far back. So remembering that this is the z axis and that this is the negative and this is the positive. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. Um, let's make it. We're going to have a rig. So this is this is the thing about the camera pos or the camera position. We're going to have a rig, and we're going to have the camera set back from the rig, so that when the rig moves, the camera is dragged with it. But the cam the the rig will be moved in the future. We'll make the the rig move to one of the spheres, and we want the camera to be offset from that. So we're going to have the rig at say three, which will put it sort of between these two front spheres. So let's put the cam pause at, so that's three in the z direction, so uh, zero, um, now let's see, yes, let's give it a height of one and three. So this, this rig will initially be off the floor, it will be in the center from a horizontal position, but it will be three meters back. Okay, so those are our positions. Now we just need color and shape. For the most part, things are pretty simple. Uh, you know, we're gonna have orange spheres, so the spheres are always orange, and then we have these, the box is always red. So we can actually combine the two and just say, um, so color and shape. Mix-ins, so a mix-in. Um, so we'll, we'll basically do it by the shape and we'll just add the color. We'll keep the color in there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so if we have um, box, then it's material equals color red and geometry equals primitive box with a width if we look at the design the spheres will have a radius of one <coughs> but the boxes will have a side width and depth of two this one will just have a longer depth so we can override that so it'll have a width two height two depth two okay so that's that and then we make another mix in and this will be ID, well, ID equals sphere, material equals color, orange, the geometry equals primitive sphere, radius of one. Okay, so those are our assets, being our mixings. So now let's set up, we'll set up the scene and we'll just test it and make sure everything's positioned correctly and looks right. So now we will do um, a entity. So now we're actually using our entity. Uh, we'll have a mix in. Now what we can do here is we can give this an ID. For instance, so if we make this far left which matches the design, and so this will be the F left pause um, sphere. Okay, and so that gives it position, um, geometry, so the F left pause is the position, and the sphere is the color and geometry. So we can now make a few of these. So we have F left, we'll make this one um, mid. So this will be mid, mid pause. <coughs> Uh, this one will be uh, near left pause. So it'll be near left. And this one will be near right. So it'll be near right pause. Okay, and then we'll set up our boxes. Uh, box 
We've got the far right, far right, mix in equals far right box pose, and that will be a box. And this one needs an override, so we do a um, geometry. And it only needs the depth to be four. Depth four, so that satisfies that. And then we do another entity ID equals box near left. Mix in equals, and this is the name left box pose. And it's a box. And that's all we need. So here you can see a few things straight away. Um, so here we have our this is this mix in here this is the in the entity we're saying we want to have this is a mix in component it will merge these together to combine the position and the geometry and color to cre to create this object here like to attach the the components that are defined by these mixins onto this entity so remember it's entity component system uh, we have you know our four spheres defined here we have our two boxes defined there um, so it's a very simple way to declare your scene and it's fairly readable you know the IDs just help us later on we'll have a quick look at the inspector and, and um, we'll be able to see these names appear in the inspector but you know this it, we can sort of see what what we're putting this in the uh, scene if we have just numbers it's much harder to read so that's the investment we've made there so we should be able to see this open this up in the browser now. So let's go to the browser. Uh, if we do open. Okay, well, just open it like this. Okay, so now we have a camera. This is we haven't positioned our camera yet, so we're getting the default camera. This is this camera is right in the center. So I can use ASD to move the camera around because the default camera has that. And we can see that we have our sphere on a box, our big sphere to the right, middle sphere and the far left sphere, and we have our boxes as we'd imagined. And we can do Control alt i and do a top view, and the top view here should match our design. So if we look at the design, there's the top view, and it does pretty much match that quite nicely. Look at the front view. Okay, what is interesting? Is this ah? Oh, I need to change the radius. There's an, a, an override. That's why it's worth checking. So if we look here. That should have been like this, and it's not. Okay. So back to the code in our near right. So here we do a geometry uh, equals. Now the, the what we need is this radius is 1.5. See the diameter is three. So we just need to specify the radius. <coughs> Radius 1.5. Okay, reload. And let's go back to the inspector because that's the easiest way to see it. Come on, inspector. Uh, if we do the front view again, we can see now it's touching the floor, which is exactly what we want. And these are the names, so I can do end right. We can see that it's there. If we can check the position, we have the radius. So it's all correct. If we look at the design, that's what we expected to see, and we have it. So there we are. That's much better. Okay, now we're ready to go on and add the animation. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. That helps a lot. Uh, feel free to subscribe. A lot of the channel has things around using Unity. Uh, but obviously A-Frame is interesting as well because it implements Entity Component System. Okay, thanks for watching.